Notion note taking tutorial how to take notes in Notion. Hey guys, welcome. In this video, I'm giving you a tutorial on how to take notes in Notion.so, how you can create your own workspace, create documents, projects, and take notes in a very creative workspace. So let's get into it. First of all, what you guys need to do is you're going to go to Notion.so and you will get right here on this platform. Notion is a connected workspace where you can work faster and better. It allows you to create notes for your work and for your studies too. Uh, you have to actually create an account on Notion uh, and it is completely free. So you will click on get started. So you can sign up with your email address or you can use your Google or Apple account. I'm going to quickly uh, log in with my Google account. So after the initial sign up or sign into your Notion.so, this is where you will land. Notion is actually a very easy to use platform where I will create different uh, workspaces and then each workspace has different notes that we can take. We can create different projects and manage them. So here we have our main workspace that we created. Here we have search, updates, all team spaces, settings and members. So we can also invite a team member to our notion in order to add a member you can go to the member section here click on add member and enter their email address so all you need to do is just enter the email address click on invite and a team member or a uh, classmate will be invited to join you on these notes uh, here on notion we get a lot of different templates to work on so you can actually go to the template section right here at the bottom and select the template of your choice there are different templates we have to-do lists projects and tasks meetings documents and we have design in design we have a design portfolio design system design sprint then we have reading lists weekly to-do list then we have notes product then we have presentations we have social media calendars available in sales we have sales crm we have different support and in student we also have class notes and more so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually select a template from here for my notes. So we saw this one right here, which is a one on one notes for a product management. So I can either go with this one or I can go for class notes as well. So maybe like we can go with this one or we can create notes of our own. So I'm going to go with this option right here, which is the notes. So in note template, I will be able to create different, add different documents. We will be able to add links. Uh, we will be able to add different due dates. Then we have types and different classes and manage them better. So actually, let's get this template. So once you create a new uh, project right here, it's added. Now you can see it's called class note. Now, if you do not want to create the class notes, of course, you can change the name here and you can also change the logo and convert them into work notes too. But this is actually a really good template because we have like, uh, you know, different material here and we have an open option where I will be able to check the notes that I created. So these are the notes that we already got. But what we're going to do is we're going to open one of these and let me show you how it is. So this is the note right here. We have our main, you know, name. For instance, we have this one here. Uh, we got our class, we type, and this is the note right here. The whole notes for this class. This is how it has been added and a lot of notes like this. Okay, so let's create our own note here. What I'm going to do is we're going to click right here in new and give it a name. Let's call it test note like this. Click enter and a note is created. Let's open it up. So here, first of all, we have the name. Now we can add an icon. An icon, let's say I want to go for this one right here. Then we have created. This is going to be the created date. Then we have class. So we can add different properties into a different class uh, that we have that we have already created. So we will be able to add right here. For instance, this is actually mad 630. So we're going to add it right here. Then we have type. In types, we have created lecture, section, seminar, study group, or reading. So this is a lecture that I'm taking note for. Then we have material. So this is where I will be able to upload a file. I'm going to upload a PDF file or we can embed a link as well. For instance, any document, any note that you found somewhere, or any material that you have for this note right here, you will be able to paste it here. And then we have the reviewed option as well. For instance, if you have reviewed the note or not, you will be able to select from here. We can also add more properties into it. So let's actually do that. For instance, we have a person, we have URL, email, phone and more. Let's go with a person because if it's a work note and you want to assign it to somebody or if you want to share it with a person, you will be able to do so. So now I will be able to select a team member. For instance, I want to add this person as well. I will add them here. So make sure you can add 
more properties here to create a very professional note. We can also add a cover to our note here and then this is where we will enter. Uh, with your slash command, you will also be able to add a to-do list if you want to go for brainstorm ideas, blog posts, and more. Uh, for instance, we have essay, poem, then we have job description, outline, uh, press release, and more. So uh, with slash command, you will get more options. Other than that, you can just start writing here and take your notes. So this actually works really good on an iPad or your mobile phone as well. You can download the Notion app um, and you will be able to use it. So at the top here, again, we have the share option. Click on share and you will be able to share with your different team members or different projects that we have. This is how you will take a note. For instance, I typed here and now I have a note ready. So this way I will have like more and more notes here. Uh, I will have a huge list. If I want to organize them better, I can add different filters into it and I will be able to customize them uh, according to different, uh, you know, subjects and different uh, you know filters that I have created here similarly we have the new option here in new I will be able to uh, quickly add a new note uh, to my project we can also change the uh, you know description here for instance this is the description I can actually get rid of it and maybe add my own description so let's actually do that uh, for instance this was a work note right you want to take work note so what you will do is you will change the you know name of this template for instance we have work like so and then we have the icon so in icon i can now change it i have added this icon here i can also add a cover and uh, maybe add description uh, moving on what i will do is i will actually change the different types we have and different uh, you know properties to it so for that you can actually create a new note here or you can actually you know swipe a little bit here you're going to move your cursor and here we have add property option. So click on add property and you can add the property of maybe status. We have email and more. So let's go with status here for work uh, notes. So it will call status and in statuses, we have different statuses that we can add. For instance, we have not started in progress and done. So I'm going to actually add this property right here and it will be added right here if you want to delete a status then you can select it from here and delete this uh, sorry the property you will be able to delete it for instance i do not want to add this class so i have work notes now i don't need to add a class so i can just delete this property from here and customize this template completely according to my notes uh, so taking a note is actually really easy and if you want to upload a file again uh, once you create a note you will be able to upload your pdf files that you have if you have any work files you will be able uh, to add them right here similarly i will be able to create different notes and we can actually divide these notes into different or uh, you know workspaces you can see we have all of these workspaces here we can also create um, a private workspaces and they will be shown here then we have import option and trash at the bottom and then we have a new page so this page right here has all of these different theme spaces and I can just create a new page, a brand new page uh, with different pages in it, different templates that I will be able to add. And then we can also add the uh, tables and boards, a timeline and calendar. So if you want to get started from the scratch, then you will create a new page first and then your page will have all of these different nodes and team spaces or private workspaces so this is how notion.so works and i'm using the free version right here and you can see we're getting all of these options there is a pricing plan for notion as well let me show you so you can see we have a free plan and then we have one for eight dollars per user per month if built annually there is a business for fifteen dollars per user per month if built annually and then there's an enterprise so it's not that expensive and gives us unlimited uh, tools and options to take notes this brings us to the end of the video i hope that i was a big help don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up leave a comment down below turn on bell notification and subscribe to youtube channel